The transformation from the center of excellence to open source load testing is encouraging more and more developers to choose software testing tools like JMeter over Load Runner. Now, a sensible way to choose the right testing tool for your business is to compare the solutions against each other. Now, there are various performance testing tools available in the market today. Out of those, two of the most popular ones are JMeter and Load Runner. But JMeter is taking over Load Runner these days. So, let's have a look at the different comparison parameters for JMeter and Load Runner in order to check out which one is better. This is Shandini from Edureka, and in today's session, we will have a look at some of these comparison parameters that will help you understand and know which performance testing tool will suit your test plan better. Now, before we start the session, let's have a look at today's agenda. So, first, we will have a small introduction to JMeter, and then we will talk about Load Runner as well. And then we will move on and have a look at the different parameters of comparison. That will help us know more about how JMeter or Load Runner would help you better in your performance testing. So let's get started. Now, performance has become an inevitable factor nowadays, especially for web and mobile applications, as the user strength is very huge for each of these applications. Now, JMeter is considered to be one of the most preferred tools for performance testing. So, what is JMeter? Now, Apache JMeter is a testing tool used for analyzing and measuring the performance of different software services and products. It is also a pure Java open source software used for testing the web application or the FTP applications. Now, it is also used to execute the performance testing, load testing, and functional testing of web applications. Now, JMeter can also simulate a heavy load on a server. By creating tons of virtual concurrent users to web server. Now let's move on and have a look at Load Runner. Now Load Runner is a software testing tool from Microfocus. Now it is basically used to test applications, measuring system behavior and performance under load. It can simulate thousands of users concurrently using the application software. It also helps in analyzing and preventing application performance problems. Now, some of the features of Load Runner are lower hardware and software costs. It also pinpoints the root cause of application performance problems quickly and accurately. It also has effective tool utilization tracking and browser based access to global test resources. Now, this was a small introduction to both these performance testing tools, that is, Apache JMeter and Load Runner. As both of these are most preferred tools when it comes to performance testing. So now let's have a look at the different parameters of comparison that will help us in understanding both of these performance testing tools better. It will also give a clear idea on how these two are different from each other and will also help you choose your perfect performance testing tool. Now, Load Runner holds a strong position in the market and Apache JMeter is quickly taking up. Quicker than any other performance tools today. So, some of the parameters of comparison include the availability, load generation capacity, execution, analysis report, open source and community support, scripting, building test scenarios, and elements. So, let's get into the details of these parameters. So, the first one is availability. Now, Apache JMeter is basically an open source free software testing tool. That can be easily downloaded for performing any test. And Load Runner is an expensive software testing tool. Although Load Runner now offers a free version with almost all of its abilities. However, this version is limited for 50 virtual users. Now, JMeter, which is completely free, including all of its plugins, offers all of its abilities to as many views as your infrastructure can handle. Now, typically, local machines can handle up to 1,000 virtual users. Therefore, JMeter gets you closer to your targets without having to whip out your credit card. Now, moving on, the next factor is the load generation capacity. Now, in this case, Apache JMeter has an unlimited load generation capacity. It can handle as many number of threads and users as you provide, and there is no such limitation or it does not reduce the performance of JMeter. But
but when it comes to load runner it has a pretty limited load generation capacity you cannot overload your load runner tool with too many users or threads so if you are looking for a performance testing tool that will perform a heavy testing and also where there will be too many users and thread groups for the testing then you should definitely go for apache jmeter now moving on the next parameter is the execution now execution is easier in jmeter so you just need to install the java download your jmeter and upload the jmeter script file you can manually set up your own load generators for small loads all you need is just a couple of minutes to install the java download your jmeter and upload the jmeter script file in blaze meter which you can use for the larger loads you just need to upload your jmx file select the duration and number of iterations monitors and location but when you consider load runner execution is complex as compared to jmeter so it basically creates one thread for each user now the load on the server is emulated by instructing multiple virtual users to perform the task simultaneously now before the testing we set the scenario configuration and scheduling now we can run the entire scenario and the virtual user groups or individual virtual users now moving on the next factor of comparison is the analysis report now in case of apache jmeter results are pretty easy to understand for less experienced engineers and it also allows in depth analysis for the testers now you can either add graphs or listeners to view the test results or merge the results in the jtl files jmeter provides you your report in a simple portable and compatible way now most performance projects takes around 40 to 50 hours to complete either for web or mobile and in load runner a similar project might take 200 to 300 hours five or six times more and would usually require two three team members instead of one also jmeter is free to use which is a huge advantage so if you are a performance testing engineer and you are committed to one tool you should consider looking at new options so choose the tool that best suits your specific needs now in case of load runner the hp analysis is a program to perform detailed analysis on the performance test that you have carried out so the hp analysis takes the dump created by the controller during execution of your load test now this dump contains all the information in a raw format which is parsed by the hp analysis to generate various graphs Now next up is the open source and community support. Now JMeter is basically an open source tool with a vibrant community that keeps adding features and supports users who run into issues and problems. Now this ensures new users always have someone to answer their questions and long time users can improve their abilities on JMeter. Now in addition having an open source tool ensures it keeps getting better. and is always in line with users needs and requirements now if we consider load runner it is owned by a large corporate limiting the number of users as licenses are required in addition it does not have an open source supportive community either so it's always easy to use jmeter if you are performing any test for which you think you might need some help because while you are using jmeter there will always be some support that you will get from the community and which will help you understand your problems better and also provide you with certain solutions now moving on the next parameter is scripting now the jmeter gui is basically drag and drop object oriented so this helps us save mountains of time when scripting even with complex scripts now while jmeter does support scripting in elements you are not required to now this means you can run a complete load test without knowing a bit of code this expands the number of users who can use jmeter or analyze the test results so even if you do code you can enjoy more of jmeter's abilities now load runner on the other hand requires scripting knowledge so if you can't code you can't use load runner so this creates an obstacle lengthens training sessions and makes each load testing cycle take more time not just that jmeter also supports multiple languages such as the bean shell groovy javascript etc while load runner supports only c 
So if you are not very well versed with the coding language, you can always go for Apache JMeter for your performance testing. In this case, you wouldn't need to know any sort of code. Now the next comparison parameter is building the test scenarios. Now test scenarios are less complex in JMeter. So in addition to easier configuration of elements, JMeter does not require adding any beginning or ending transaction elements which load runner does. Now in load runner arranging scripts takes up more time and resources and not just that it is also more complex because it requires managing different agents. Now the final parameter of comparison is the elements. So adding elements is very easy on JMeter. All you have to do is just right click on the tree scenario and add what you need. So in each element you can easily fill in the configuration or you can copy and paste from a text file. Comments can also be added to elements. But in case of load runner configuring each element is more complex. They all require complex scripting in C and they need to be defined in a text file before integrating with the scenario. And if you want to know more about how to add elements in JMeter, you can check out our video on JMeter tutorial, which will help you understand the elements of JMeter in a better way. And not just that, you can also check out our video on how to install JMeter if you are facing any trouble on that too. So these were some of the parameters of comparison that has helped us understand both of these performance testing tools in a better way. So basically there are no perfect performance testing tools and you cannot select one best out of the lot because while selecting your performance testing tool you need to keep in mind that how that particular tool is helping in your test plan or how is it helping you in executing your performance testing. So you should always go for that particular tool which goes along with your test plan and helps you in your performance testing. The compatibility of your website that you're performing the test on and your tool is more important here. So with this we have come to the end of this battle between JMeter and load runner. So here I would suggest that Apache JMeter is better when compared to load runner in case of performance testing. I think that would definitely make our work easier. But that was just my opinion when I'm comparing these two performance testing tools. And also don't forget to let us know about other comparison parameters that will make this choice easier. Till then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!